But speaking of kids, we actually have a great place that you can take them in today's trip on a tank full. Lynchburg's Amazement Square is a children's museum that offers four floors of interactive exhibits made to make learning look fun. So we are in our brand new exhibition called Be in the Know and this is a really cool exhibition because we wanted to show what it would be like to show honeybees in their natural habitat. The buzz at this museum isn't just the bees, but the beehive is a great place to start. This is our original 360 degree beehive that we built in house to be able to house our first set of bees. So as you can see, all the bees are in the comb and they're building and the queen is actually in there somewhere. She's hidden. She likes to be surrounded by all the, her, her other bees to keep her safe. And as you can see over here, we have a pipe that leads outside. So that's how the bees get in and out of the museum so they can go out and bring the pollen in um, and do what they need to do to have a sustainable hive. Amazement Square believes that creative play is one of the most important ways that children can learn and grow. So this is our pollen corner and what we do here is we try to show how the bees collect the pollen and they bring it back to the honeycomb. So you kind of go around and you collect the pollen from the bees or from the flowers um, and then put it in, a, it's like a Plinko board. Um, but it's all about how they distribute the honey once or the pollen once they get it back to the hive. Named one of Central Virginia's favorite family spots, the museum serves more than 90,000 people through general admission, school programs, outreach activities, and other special events each year. It's crazy to think that at one point, this place didn't exist. Amazement Square was kind of an idea that came about as a visionary to revitalize downtown. There was not a lot here. This used to be an old facility where they created uh, exterminate for bugs and so on the side of the building there was a quote that said death to all insects so when we started this we wanted to be very inclusive and to be you know happy and excited so we changed it to say to respect to all insects so it's a sign that lights up at night and our mascots are um, there spray painting respect to all insects across the building. This is a place where their kids can come and play and learn and enjoy and one of our biggest things is to make sure that our parents are interacting with their kids so if you kind of as we walk around the museum you'll notice there's not a lot of benches or places to sit because we really want our parents to be engaging with their children and to be down on the floor with them building and you know having them ask them questions about certain things so the museum is very educational each floor is dedicated to a different subject. You can visit the museum from 10 to 5 Wednesday through Saturday. It's nine dollars a person and every dollar matters here. We are a nonprofit. We are not funded at all by the city or state. And since COVID happened, over 30% of the nation's museums, children's museums and science museums, will not reopen. Um, you know, so we are very lucky that we are able to be open um, and that we had some people kind of helping donors that were able to sustain us and help support us. Um, but unfortunately, if that doesn't continue, you know, we won't be able to keep our doors open. 